Hello. So I have um, been wanting to play Estranged Act 1 for a good while. I remember really liking it back in the day. Let me go ahead and get it started because I remember there being a long cutscene at the beginning. <laughs> but um, I am uh, I just realized there's a workshop mod our workshop mods for it. So I have the ammo indicator clicking sound removal, tree sway, act two infected with Left 4 Dead 2 animations, and Martin's meaty gun sounds. <laughs> um, I've tried setting the field of view to 105. So really that's sexy. If anyone can hear this, my name is Jonathan Darrell, and I, I need help. These things, they, they've taken over the island. Sure. Anyone, please, I have supplies, but... This automated message from Arc Corporation. There has been a safety breach. Mandatory curfew is in effect. Uh. Oh. Remember my field of view? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just tripping. <laughs> so yeah, I um, I remember really liking this, and I think I'll, I just will like it even more with time. You know, like I think I'll appreciate it even, even greater, even more greatly. I don't know English. Um, I forget what to do here. I just played this the other day, just like to test out the mods and such, <laughs> and I already forgot. Well, that's unfortunate. I really, I really have forgotten. <laughs> Really feels like it's not one of five. Huh, is it not changing? I swear it was just changing a second ago. Huh. <laughs> Weird. I don't even know how to get to it now. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, now it's more close. What the? Oh, is it this command that does it? Oh, my goodness. For some reason, I was under the impression it was field of view desired. Weird. Oh, that's a ladder. Got some milk. Go ahead and move that just in case. Oh, well. I noticed uh, when I was checking this out earlier, there's this little paper here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Oops. 
Well, I am good at the game. <laughs> shift to run. Just gonna go be nosy over here. Ah. I love how I'm not even getting a stable 60 frames. <laughs> hey, are you okay down there? Come on up. I like the bricks sticking out of the wall like that, that's great. Screenshot that. <laughs> I run into a, a bit of trouble, so uh, excuse the mess. That was your boat, wasn't it? I didn't expect a survivor. Let's get inside. Alright. After you. That's some, uh, interesting parking, by the way. I'm John. <laughs> John Darrell. I've also never gone for the bucket achievement, so I think that's here. I'm going I'm to... I'm sorry, you had to crash here of all places. To go the for it. The island is overrun. I've been working on fixing a radio, and I had it, but that's when this happened. I was attacked after I managed to get a message out, but a company called ARC are blocking all communications with a damn curfew message. Look, take my gun. I don't need it anymore. You'll need to make your own way, though. Go out of the back door. It'll take you to a river. Follow the river to the nature reserve. This field of view desired what changes my weapon? And then you can follow yeah. the rails into Wentworth. I'm sure. And this. Oh, that's where it's coming from. Now I can't even see the gun. Oh no, it's just Look, the same. Okay, go, I, I'm just not gonna mess I with it. I came here with my wife and daughter on holiday three months ago, around the time this began. We got separated, but please, if you find them, keep them safe. Do what I couldn't. He really doesn't look too happy about that. Um, what the hell? The gun's up there. Seems I've broken something. Um, that said, I wonder if there's anything I can do about the gun looking weird. Or if I just have to live with it. Probably, probably that. The bucket achievement, by the way, is just you have to carry a bucket with you throughout the duration of the campaign. Not a problem. The depth of field effect kind is kind of annoying with the but if I'm going for the bucket though. Let me um, let me turn that off. Because I realize I'm going to be holding it the whole game, and it, it's just going to be... The background will be blurry the entire game.
speedrun. Probably shouldn't waste the flashlight like that, actually. I just remembered it uses batteries. <laughs> Pretty long load time. Just me and my bucket. Is nice. <laughs> Wonder if there's any fish. I wonder if I can turn off that big ass highlight. Oh. Ah, it's weird I can't break these dang windows. Side tree as well, it's pretty cool. Really, just playing this again just to be really nosy because over the years I've developed a real appreciation just for the Source engine in general. Hey there. And, um,. This is like great use of it, you know, the source engine. <laughs> Everything just looks so awesome. I wish I could play it with depth of field, but I just want this dang bucket achievement. Like I'm supposed to go in there. Forgot that I could sprint. sounds. I think this doesn't have any jump scares. I can't remember if it does. Because I'm going to get scared. It's late. My brain is tired. Very susceptible. 
I still feel like it's not. <laughs> what is it about this dang game not feeling like it's the right field of view? Does one ten seem different? All right, now it looks like it's just controlling where the gun's at. So is FOV desired what I want then? Gosh dang, dang it. It all seems like it's all the same thing. <laughs> it seems like both of them are just moving the gun position and not the actual fucking, <laughs> not the actual field of view. That's actually funny. Um, feel feel the view. Desire. Let me just put that on something like that. Then I guess that's as good as it's getting. Hitting it. I guess, I guess, uh, huh. I'll say it like that. I'm not monkey with it anymore. The rest of the playthrough, that's what it's gonna be. Because <laughs> at least the gun looks better than it did, and I think everything is realistically the same. I don't know why this game, the field of view is, commands are weird, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. It doesn't seem that there's any, like, CG field of view commands or anything like that. I forgot to actually flip those. I still remember this moment from 2014. I think I got off of this and I think here I get mugged by some zombies. At that point I was like, all right, this is cool. <laughs> Maybe it's further up, I don't know. I just remember at some point getting off of that little train and getting mugged. <laughs> ah, hey there. I don't know why it's like all glowing like that. I wonder if I can turn that off too. Make important objects glow. Let's turn that off and see how we can fare. I don't want to ruin my immersion. This is a cool little TV. Oh, unplugged it. 
Oh. I just want to get it the right side up again. I guess that's good. <laughs> A lot of zombies. Oh, fuck. Not sure what difficulty this is on, or if it has difficulties, but I'm just I'm just playing on whatever happens when you hit new game chapter one. I don't think it actually prompted me. Check on that chat. I think I'll only be woke probably until the next loading screen. I think I will. I think I'll save and exit after the next one. Feeling something's in here. Oh. It's just aesthetic. Oh, I've forgotten the bucket. I can never be a parent. Did I even have it all the way back here? Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's good, that's good. <laughs> then go ahead and make a hard save then. Um, whoops. Oh, quick save. I guess, I don't know, I guess there's just one quick save. And that's just what it is right now. Um, I'm guessing here I do not have the bucket. Yeah, not a bucket in sight. <laughs> oh, oh! I got so swept up in the atmosphere. I'm over here fucking screwing up literally the goal of the playthrough. <laughs> Alright. I guess I was so hyped to skedaddle. I just left my bucket like a damn fool. How could I leave my trusty bucket? After we had such a oh such a nice moment together on that bench earlier. Bucket! Fuck it!
my fucking luck. Alright, well, it's actually getting kind of late. So, so I'm going to pick this up later. <laughs> but um, I am really looking forward to giving it a playthrough. Um, from the little bits and pieces I've played so far, uh, it seems like it is still as good as I remember it being. It's not just a case of rose-tinted glasses. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all around. Thanks for checking.